Iran's regime executes six prisoners, including one in public. The Iranian regime executed four prisoners on Wednesday at Gorodash Prison in the city of Karaj. Two of the victims, identified as Hussein Roshan and Mohsen Kohani, were sentenced to death on charges related to enmity against God. On Wednesday, the regime executed a man in public in the northern city of Rasht. He was hanged for killing a security agent. Another prisoner, identified as 24-year-old Razgar Zandi, was executed on Tuesday in Sanadaj prison. The clerical regime also executed at least 12 prisoners, including two women, on September 24th and 25th. Hundreds, including children infected with HIV in Iranian city. At least 300 people, including children, are believed to have been infected with HIV in Iran's southwest province of Jahar Mahal and Bakhtiari by health authorities using contaminated syringes. People in the village of Chena Mahmud in Lordigan have pointed to medical negligence across the local healthcare system as the cause of the outbreak. According to locals, people contracted HIV from needles used by the village health organization to test for diabetes two months ago. Dozens of furious villagers held a protest on Wednesday in front of the governor's office, protesting the authorities' unhealthy practices resulting in the outbreak. Defiant youths torch regime symbols and suppressive centers in Iran. In the period September 29th through October 2nd, defiant youths torch symbols of the Iranian regime and posters of Khomeini and Khomeini in different cities across Iran, including Tehran, Avaz, Oromia, Neshaba, Amol, Sebzeba, Kodasht, Banda Abbas, Khoi, and Mashar. Defiant youths posted in public photos of the Iranian resistance leadership alongside slogans such as We must and we should rid ourselves of oppression and injustice and We must and we should overthrow the Mullah's regime and Long live Rajavi, down with Khomeini. Suppression of women, 50 lashes for participants in a yoga class. In line with stepping up general repression in society to rein in growing social discontent and anti-government protests against rampant economic and political crises, the clerical regime in Iran has stepped up suppression of women significantly. The state security force justifies suppression of women under various pretexts, including removal of their veil, failure to observe proper veiling at work, and participating in mixed gender classes. Iranian state media reported that the criminal court of Gorgan issued flogging sentences for 20 people, including eight women, for attending a private mixed-gender yoga class. The participants in this class were arrested in June on charges of acting against chastity and are going to receive 50 lashes each. <laughs>